Hey, it's Sam here, and this is the Aegis AJ139V2. Priced at only $25, it's a really great budget gaming mouse with tri-mode connectivity and comes with a magnetic charging and receiver base. There's three color options available and I have the black version in this video. Included in the box is the user manual, the quick start guide, a 1.5 meter braided Type-A to Type-C cable, the magnetic charging base with the pins on the front and ports on the back, and the mouse itself which is quite light just under 65 grams. Moving on to the design, the mouse has an indicator light, the scroll wheel and DPI button in the middle of the left and right click, two buttons on the left with the AGS logo and some side RGB lighting, the Type-C port on the front as usual, four Teflon skates on the bottom with the Trimod switch sensor and RGB toggle, alongside the magnetic charging pins and a storage slot for the 2.4 GHz wireless receiver. Speaking of the receiver, it also plugs into the charging base. The mouse connects magnetically with the pins here and it also has RGB lighting surrounding the base, the Type-C port and USB-A port for the wireless receiver on the back, and a non slip material on the bottom to keep it in place. Taking a closer look at the mouse, it has a matte textured finish that prevents fingerprints and sweat from showing. It also has a symmetrical shape with a height of 38.19mm that is just enough, providing a comfortable placement for claw, palm and fingertip grips. The Paw 3311 optical sensor that's a decent budget option with an adjustable 12,000 dpi, an acceleration of 35 grams paired with a 1000 Hz polling rate that's great for fast-paced gaming, a 500mAh battery that's rated for 40 hours of use with the RGB off, and comes with Huano Blue transparent pink dot switches that are rated for 80 million clicks and sound pretty loud and clicky. Carrying on to the software, the mouse supports the Aegis AJ139V2 MC driver. With this, you can set different profiles, remap all of the buttons, set the debounce time, change the DPI levels, polling rate, scroll direction and sleep and wake functions, record and import macros, and configure the other settings here. As for the gaming experience, I mainly used it in Marvel Rivals. Honestly, it felt great with no issues at all with the latency or lag. And considering the price, there's really nothing to complain about here. Anyway, here are some gaming clips with the mouse in use. Okay, here are my final thoughts on the AGS AJ139V2. After testing and using the mouse, I honestly can't believe this only cost $25. The mouse feels solid in hand, has decent specs and features, and most importantly even comes with a magnetic charging base. Now don't get me wrong, it's not packing the highest end specs or premium materials, but for $25, this is easily one of the best budget gaming mice you can get that has a charging base. So if you're interested in the Aegis AJ139V2, it will be linked in the description below and that does it for this video. Thanks to Aegis for the mouse and thank you for watching. Leave a like on the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't and remember to subscribe if you haven't. See you in the next one.